Yeah, New York State opening some of those pools early for the season and New York City making cooling centers available. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live at Roberto Clemente State Park in the Morris Heights section of the Bronx. How's that breeze there, Anthony? Yeah, Charlene, Mike, it's not too bad. Uh, if you're going to go out for that run, I would say do it now, right? The sun's up, but it's still not too bad. It's going to change, of course, as this day goes on. Here at Roberto Clemente State Park, they are adding some sprinklers and sprays. So, hey, if you run down here, maybe you could pop in and, you know, cool off. Uh, Governor Hochul, of course, announcing that there will be free admission to all state parks uh, today and tomorrow, of course, because of this heat. She's trying to help New Yorkers beat the heat, select beat Beaches and pools are open early for swimming this week. As I mentioned, those sprays and sprinklers are being added to several state park locations throughout the city, including Riverbank State Park and Marsha P. Johnson State Park. There's also a number of sites across the state opening early for swimming, including out on Long Island, Jones Beach and Robert Moses in the Hudson Valley, Bear Mountain and Harriman State Park. The governor has also activated the state's emergency operations center, and though some some cooling centers will be closed in observance of Juneteenth. More than 200, actually, of the more than 500 that the city has. Uh, the city says hundreds will still be open, so a sufficient number will still be open for people to use. And of course, uh, at this point, the city is also telling people to be cognizant of any signs of heat stroke. They want you to limit your outdoor exercise and, of course, stay hydrated. Take a listen. Extreme weather is the new normal in our country, but particularly here in the state of New York. We know that heat events, loss of life from heat stroke, for example, is the number one killer of human beings during these events. And so we're prepared for this. The MTA also preparing for the extreme heat, saying they have generators on standby and are ensuring that buses with AC are not taken out of the rotation for service at this time. Transit leaders are also urging those who use public transit to stay up to date on the status of subways and trains. It'll only be to your benefit. That way you're not waiting out on a, you know, sweltering platform for a train that may be late. And again, if you're going to make use of the free admission at state parks, don't forget to pack that sunscreen and stay hydrated because anytime you're outside, it sneaks up on you. It's cool right now, but of course, it will get hotter. We're live at Roberto Clemente State Park in the Bronx. Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.